गुड मॉर्निंग लेट अस सी टुडे जिंगलर नॉट ऑफ कैटलिस्ट ना कैटलिस्ट व्हाट इज कॉल्ड जिंगलर नॉट ऑफ कैटलिस्ट एंड जिंगलर नॉट ऑफ पॉलीमराइजेशन इट इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट एवरी ईयर एट लीस्ट वन नॉट टू क्वेश्चंस विल बी आस्क्ड इन जैम गेट सीएसआर एटसेट्रा फॉर डिस्कवरिंग दिस कैटलिस्ट जिंगलर and the not uh, not all were given nobel prize in the year 1963 so this is very very important and this is uh, often used in industry for polymerization of polyphenols especially uh, for propylene let us see what is called zincler not all catalyst it consists of two components it consists of two compounds group 4 transition metal compound For example, titanium, zirconium, hafnium, and organoaluminium compounds. What are organoaluminium compounds? For example, triethyl aluminium is used as co-catalyst. Organoaluminium is used as co-catalyst in this process. This is uh, titanium tetrachloride is the catalyst. Now, this catalyst, this uh, this zincler, this catalyst was uh, discovered by zinkler called zinkler the german chemist and he used it to polymerize olefins substituted olefins okay later on g not up an italian chemist he found that the polymers obtained on are stereo regular they are stereo regular for example isotactic or stereotactic polymers are obtained so they were given nobel prize for example in free radical polymerization reaction there is no stereo regular regularity there is no stereo selective selectivity whereas in this case it is a heterogeneous supported catalyst it is a heterogeneous supported catalyst there is stereo regular and also linear polymer whereas in the case of uh, uh, free radical polymerization reaction you will get only branched polymer and the random polymer with the all molecular weight distribution but here you will get high molecular weight the linear chain polymer okay so let us uh, see an example for example propene substituted olefin in the in the presence of zinc uh, zinc or not a catalyst under one atmospheric pressure and 20 to 30 degree celsius that is in free radical polymerization reaction you need high pressure and high temperature in other uh, free radical polymerization in other polymerization reaction you need high temperature high pressure whereas here you need only very low pressure a normal atmospheric pressure and because it is uh, supported heterogeneous catalytic and the normal and the temperature room temperature just the room temperature to give polypropylene the polymer as i said earlier the polymer of types or linear high high molecular weight polymers and they are stereo regular um, for example iso by isotactic or stereotactic polymers are obtained in free radical polymerization reaction there is no control on stereo chemistry here we can by using this catalyst We will, we can control the stereo chemistry of the polymer formed. Either we can obtain isotactic or stereotactic polymers. Now let us see the mechanism. Similar to other free radical cationic uh, polymerization, there are four steps involved. First step, the first step involves activation step. In the activation step, the complex activated complex is formed for example in crystalline state titanium tetrachloride in crystalline state titanium tetrachloride this is nothing but titanium tetrachloride but in crystalline state it is surrounded by six chlorine atoms there are six chlorine atoms but on the surface remember on the surface titanium is surrounded or coordinated by only five chlorine atoms and one of the site is vacant empty empty site it is empty vacant dxy orbital we will see further bonding mechanism when when this 
comes in contact with the triethyl aluminum. Triethyl aluminum, okay. The or group, the ethyl group migrates to the vacuum site, vacuum coordination site. At the same time, when it migrates, the chlorine is kicked out. Actually, the chlorine is kicked out and it forms, it, it forms a complex with the aluminium to give aluminium monochloro diethyl alkyl. Okay. Again, there is empty orbital in the activation complex. In the activation complex, there is a vacuum site. There is vacuum coordination site with vacuum orbital. Okay. Empty orbital. Let us now see initiation step. In the initiation step, this A, let us call this as A, I have written again, it reacts with the, it combines with the monomer, propene, this is the propene, to form metal alkene complex to form metal alkene intermediate complex and then on rearrangement on links electron resuffling it gives this uh, this A1 with the vacuum coordination site this is again ready for further reacts with another monomer in the propagation step this metal alkene complex actually this uh, we will see the mechanism here okay in this step, metal alkene complex is formed, metal alkene complex, followed by 1 2 insertion reaction because 1 2 insertion here is bonded. Okay. So, this is called 1 2 insertion reaction. In the propagation step, this A1 further reacts with the monomer to give A2. Okay. I have shown clearly here. See, this one goes here. This one goes here. So, and this, uh, this uh, CH2 will attach here, CH2 will attach here, okay. So, A2, this A2 further combines with the another monomer to give A3 and so on, uh, AN up to AN. Now, let us see the termination step. There are three ways the polymerization can be terminated. There are three termination steps. One is beta elimination with the hydrogen transfer, with the hydrogen transfer to form, forming metal hydrogen. For example, here the same one, here you see, I have drawn this thing here and this hydrogen is transferred here, this hydrogen beta. This is alpha, beta, and so here, transfer. And then, then since this is transferred and then this bond is broken, so CH2 double bond CH, the polymer chain. Okay. Now, Beta elimination, that is uh, second termination step. Beta elimination is hydrogen transfer to metal here. Here, that is beta elimination, hydrogen transfer to monomer. This monomer, therefore, what will happen is monomer, titanium, CH, CH, CH3, CH3. Okay. The third termination step is hydrogenation step. That is the uh, hydrogen is added to here and also here. So you will get like titanium uh, hydrogen and CH3, CH2 and CH3. Okay. Let us now see the bonding mechanism. How does um, titanium coordinate forms metal alkene complex? Okay. So in the alkene, in the alkene, there are two types of bonding orbital, pi bonding orbital. See? Here, by body, you have a P orbital, each orbital has one P orbital, so it's one electron, suppose, plus, plus, and then minus, and this is antibonding orbital. Now, in the case of uh, transition metal elements, it's in the octahedral coordination, in the octahedral field, it splits into two levels, dx square minus dz square, eg and the t2g, and the EG orbitals are filled whereas uh, the T2G orbitals are empty. Therefore, this DA, this empty DXY, this empty DXY orbital forms complex with the alkene. The electron pair from the pi orbital, electron pair from the pi orbital is donated, is transferred to empty DXY orbital to form a bond, to share a pair of electrons. At the same time, there is 
in the vector that is uh, filled in dx squared by the whole square of the This is the two electrons. This is two electrons. Therefore, in this, in this uh, manner, we can transfer, for example, this is an um, antibody orbital of the uh, alkene. This is the dx squared by the whole square of the Therefore, the electron, the electron pair is transferred from the field the dx squared by the whole square of the to the empty. And the bonding by the alkene. This is how bonding takes place for this catalytic mechanism. Okay, thank you for watching.